Some of you have been asking me about good close-up habits and they are very important if you want to reverse your myopia. So in this video I will give you some tips of what you can do. I'm Gemily and I'm doing Jake Steiner's End Myopia Method to get back to 2020 vision and life without glasses. It's all based on science, not magic, and if you want more information, I will leave some links in the description down below. One of the important things in regaining your distance vision is actually getting time doing distance vision. But that is not all that is involved in restoring your vision using the End Myopia Method. Good close-up habits are really important. And if your close-up habits are bad, they can undermine all the good active focus and distance vision that you are getting otherwise. So what do good close-up habits look like? Firstly, good close-up habits look like not too much close-up. Now, of course, some of us have jobs that involve computer screens and we can't avoid close-up work entirely. Some of us have to have close-up work for hours a day. So it's important that if this is your situation, when you don't have to be doing close-up, you're not. Try to limit the amount of time that you are in close-up for. If it has to be eight hours a day, then it has to be eight hours a day, but then don't come home and turn that into 12 hours a day. Part of what we need to do to reverse our myopia is to keep ourselves out of ciliary spasm. If you are in ciliary spasm, you are not going to be improving your vision. So the first step is to make sure you are out of ciliary spasm and stay out of ciliary spasm. And you do this by taking care of your close-up habits and try not to get too much close-up time. Jake says that for him, a maximum amount of time to be in close-up in one block is three hours. After that, he can take a one hour break and release the ciliary spasm. He has said that if he is in close-up for more than three hours at a time, he probably won't be able to release the ciliary muscle for the whole rest of the day. So at least every three hours having a one hour break to just give that muscle a rest and a chance to relax, he has found is very important for his vision. Now perhaps it varies a bit from person to person, but I'm happy for Jake to learn the lessons for me and I'm just gonna benefit from his knowledge rather than trying to do everything the hard way and reinvent the wheel. So three hours of close up, take a break for an hour, get outside for a walk, Hopefully even in a work situation, you can swing this a bit. So if you start work at nine, three hours later, it's 12. Go for a lunch break and don't get on a screen and don't do close up. Try and look into the distance, look out the window if you have to have lunch in the office somehow or try and go out for a walk for a bit. You know, maybe you have to push through until five, but maybe there's some work you can do that isn't close up or at least isn't so close up, not on a screen, something more dynamic. Different people will have different possibilities and maybe this is not an option for you. Maybe you don't have choices like this, but maybe you do. And maybe before saying you don't, you don't, maybe just think about it. And instead of saying it's not possible, try and ask yourself, how can I make this possible? And maybe you can't, but maybe you can just try, just try. If you can't, that's okay. You can do what you can do and you can't do more than that. Just make sure that you are taking moments for distance vision when you can, maybe rather than three hours and a one hour break. Just focus on getting a five minute break every hour. It's better than nothing. As well as this for those who can't have a break as well as for people who can, it is important to have good close up habits that can make a really big difference. Good close up habit one we just spoke about is time. Good close up habit two is distance. So we want to be working on our close up around the edge of blur. It doesn't have to be super blurry. In fact, it, it shouldn't be super blurry. You want something that with a little bit of active focus you can clear up or maybe even something where you find just where it gets blurry say it's here, you're allowed to even be just a tiny bit closer so it looks clear but it's relaxing. But just stay around that edge of blur, don't creep closer. Now for some people, especially those with lower myopia, you might be tempted to make your close up without glasses. Look, it's your call, they're your eyes, you decide what is right for them. But my experience is don't try and get rid of your differential glasses, your glasses for close up too quickly. It is better to wear glasses for close up 
and be further away from the screen than to take off the glasses and have no correction and lean in close to the screen. Part of the reason for this is that the further away you are from what you're looking at, the more straight ahead your eyes will be. If you lean in close, those eye muscles have to turn your eyes in and that creates some strain. So the more directly parallel your eyes can be, the better. That means further away is better, even if it means you need to put on a little bit of correction. With this distance thing, you wanna make sure that you're not creeping forward, because even with the correction on and being, say, just inside the edge of blow where everything's pretty clear, it's still gonna be unconsciously tempting to lean in because things will just get crisper and crisper and easier and easier and your eyes will have to do less work they can be lazier and lazier so it's really helpful to set yourself up at a good distance from your screen or whatever you're looking at in such a way that good posture will mean you're at the right distance so if you tune into your body and you realize you're hunching forward you know you're too close and you can just try to remember to relax into your space so have your back against the back of the chair will make you at the right distance now if you're using a laptop or something this could be tricky because you might not be able to reach the keyboard so what i do and what i recommend you do if you can because it's just better for you in general anyway is get a usb keyboard a usb mouse and a few books or a box or something to put the laptop up onto so it's a good height and then you will be able to move the keyboard and move the mouse so that they're close enough to you that it's comfortable and the screen is still over there i like to put my screen at the back of my table so that the table is kind of pushing into me a little bit so i can have the chair in quite tight leaning back on the chair but not be able to get too close because of the table then i know if i'm sitting against the chair even as close to the table as i can my screen is going to be a good distance from me tip number three i guess is good lighting if you are going to be in close-up it's good to have good bright lighting around you try to be in a well-lit room even better get outside so that there's a lot of natural light around you when you can be near a window if you're working on a computer if you're at the office see if you can be near a window natural light is really helpful in protecting your eyes from strain and tip number four it's especially for phones and handheld devices. Now these things are so close and because they're small, here's one I prepared earlier, because they're quite small, holding them far away is tiring for your arm. There's a lot of extra information. So it's normal to start creeping forward. Well, not creeping forward so much as bringing it closer and closer until you don't even know, but you're like this, like this. It's important to do what you can to avoid that because that distance is deadly for good vision, so bad. For these handheld devices, firstly, try and minimize use of them as much as you can. If you're looking at Facebook, go to a computer and look at Facebook. Check your emails on your computer, not on your phone. I know sometimes this is easier said than done, but really try to be intentional about this. Even if you just improve a bit, that is, at least something okay for the time when you do find yourself using your phone may i suggest using some kind of app to help you monitor your habits and protect your eyes because you are going to get lost in that screen and forget to pay attention so i use the myopia app which in the app seems to be called vision app but in the app store seems to be called myopia app it can help you monitor the distance you are to your screen how long you are on your screen for whether you're taking breaks how bright the light around you is
Even if you're going for distance walks every day, active focusing, plenty, if you then get on your phone and stare at it for hours in a row without a break, or you're on your computer at work and you are not on the edge of blur and you are overcorrected, even if you're wearing your differentials, if you're leaning too far forward, you're effectively now overcorrected for that distance, you're gonna be undoing all your hard work and you will not be seeing gains. So good close-up habits, super duper important, super important. I would say that good close-up habits are perhaps even more important than distance time. Because even though distance time is what is going to get you your distance vision back, realistically, close-up time makes up probably more hours for us these days than the distance time does for most of us. And if you're only thinking about doing good things for your eyes when you're getting distance vision and when you're in close-up you're not really thinking about it you're going to be undermining yourself every step of the way don't make close-up time bad habit time close-up time is not when you can afford to get lazy about it for most of us close-up time is going to make up more of our lives than distance time these days unfortunately so while distance time is really important for getting your distance vision back close-up time is not the time to be lazy we're in close-up so much and we can benefit so much from using that close-up time for our benefit and the benefit of our eyes. You can use the time that you have to be on a computer by being on the edge of blur and make it good end myopia time for your eyes. So don't think I'm in close up, this is rubbish. Unless I'm in distance, I can't do anything for my eyes so I won't worry about it now because you really, really can. It's really, really important to stay on top of these habits. So. Set things up so you don't have to work too hard on them. Set up your workspace, set up your laptop and USB mouse and USB keyboard and your chair. Set up your phone with the right apps so that these better habits become part of your close-up experience automatically. Build them in. They are really important and they can do actually a lot of the heavy lifting for you, especially at the beginning. So good luck everyone, not that you need luck just get out there and make it happen. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like this video and if you'd like more content from me. It means so much to me when you press that little thumbs up button. Well, I will see you next Thursday because I post every Thursday, even when I'm on holiday. <laughs> it's all based on science. That's very windy. Now we just need to wait for it to be a teeny bitty less windy. And if you are not getting good close up habits, close up. And if you're only thinking about improving your vis. Hush! This is breezy. Mm. I feel like it's much quieter now than it was when I was trying to film that. Hmm. Rude.